In this video, we will cover tips that you will need to know before you start the fishing quest and I will guide you through Wizard City fishing all the way to Azteca in the fastest way possible, letting you know what school the fish is, its rank and the fishing spells that you need to cast in the right order. Hello everyone, this is Teen Dojin here and welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new video. So before we get into the actual quest, here are some tips that you're gonna need. Firstly, you're going to need about 16,000 gold. This is because uh, when we train all the spells from Lucky Hookline in the commons, that total is around 8,000 gold. Then you're also going to need to train the spells in Labyrinth, and that is another 8,000 gold. Tip number two is if something is obstructing your view, so for example, the flames are obstructing um, if I can see the fish or not, is when the wording above the fish icon changes from cancel to invoke. So that's going to be very helpful, especially when we get the dragon spire or when a fish just randomly disappears and you can't really see it, but it is actually hooked onto your line. And lastly, you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely need to train Winnow Fish and reveal rank one fish. So before we actually start with the quest, we are going to get that spell. How we get that spell is you need to be rank three. If you're not rank three, the fastest way to get there is to fish in the school houses. So those include fire house, ice house, storm house, myth house, life house, what's next, death and balance house. That is the fastest way to level up because you know what fishes are in that house. If you fish in the death house, you only get death fishes. Um, so there is no need to use the reveal fish spell. To uh, get access to those houses, you go to the housing tours, uh, click top rated, then click on whatever category, click on the castle uh, title to sort through the houses alphabetically and then find whatever house that you're looking for. To know what fish there are in the ponds, you just have to wiki them. So search wizard 101 firehouse fish and it will give you the list of fishes that you can catch. Now my camera is about to die so the rest of the tutorial is going to be a voiceover. Hi hi hello this is the voiceover. So there are only five worlds that we actually need to fish in. So before we quest in Wizard City, like I said earlier in the video, we need the Winnow fish spell. To get it, let's go to Dragonspire and then run all the way down that long pathway to the necropolis. Once we get to the necropolis, just open your map and then follow the arrow to the labyrinth. Once we get into the labyrinth, you don't need to do the entire dungeon, thank god. Just open your map and follow the arrow to the fish icon. Then train all the spells that are available to you. Okay, now we can start the quest in Wizard City. Let's go to the commons. The first fish we're gonna catch is the catfish and this is a fire fish. Let's cast our winnow fire fish spell to scare all the fish away except fire. That saves us a lot of time so that we don't need to keep recasting the reveal fish. So if you're having troubles trying to catch the catfish, um, what I recommend is look at the most smallest fish in the pond and that would most likely be the catfish or if you get unlucky that's a small fry but most of the time it will be the catfish now the next fish we're going to catch is the mainstream decoy this is a balanced fish so we're actually going to ravenwood to catch the fish because uh we scared every single fish away in the commons so we're not going to wait for it to reset we're going to ravenwood so cast your balance winnow spell and it's actually gonna take a while for it to um 
remove all the fish uh you know when the fishes are removed when you hear the thrashing sound or when you actually see the visuals of the fish being scared away and nine out of ten times um you are going to catch the mainstream decoy okay next fish is the bonefish that is located in unicorn way and same thing again cast your uh we know death fish spell and uh it is pretty easy to get the bonefish okay next fish is located in Old Town and I was too lazy to run all the way there so I used the socials tab, found someone in the Wizard City Bazaar and ported to them then exited to the Old Town. Both Garfish and the Shark Spearfish are ice so just winnow ice. Okay, two more fishes left and they are in Cyclops Lane. Once you enter Cyclops Lane, go through the teleporter. The sandwich fish is a myth fish and the mechanical fish is a storm fish. Now this is the only time in the tutorial where we actually use the reveal fish spell and that is because both fish that we need are located in the same area and they are of different schools so we don't want to remove one entire school because we need two different schools. Congratulations, we finished Wizard City. Now we can go back to the commons, talk to Lucky Hookline, and now we can fish in Grizzleheim. All right, now let's go to Grizzleheim and basically just follow the arrow to Harrick's Silver Scale. The only fish that we need to catch is the Tadpole and Barracuda, and then we're done with Grizzleheim. Alright, the tadpole fish is a life fish. I feel like everyone could have guessed it. Um, but yeah, it's a life fish, so cast the winnow life spell. And actually, it takes a long time for the um, winnow fish thingy to scare all the fish away. So I'm just like running, <laughs> following the thing. But it is worth it because for me, it actually took five tries to get the tadpole fish. Cool, the next fish is the barracuda and that is a fire fish rank 2. You can find the barracuda in these three areas and in this video we are going to cover how you can go about fishing in all three of these areas because I had troubles trying to find the barracuda. So right now I am in Vigorid Roughland and there are three ponds that you can fish in here. Cast your winnow fire spell and then cast your reveal rank 1 fish. This is because this will reveal all the rank 1 and the barracuda is rank 2, meaning you are trying to look for any fish that is not glowing white. So I got bored waiting for the winnow thing to end, so I'm going to the uh, to the second pond. Obviously, <laughs> all of the fish were glowing white, so I went back to the first pond. And then all the fish were glowing white, so I went to the third pond. And again, all the fish were glowing white. You can avoid this problem and save yourself a lot of time if you have the reset pond fish spell trained. Um, but that requires you to be rank 6. For this tutorial, I'm assuming that nobody has the rank 6 spell yet, so we are going to travel to Merhom Keep and test our luck. Obviously, our luck was not successful, and we ended up going to Savitsud Pass, and finally, I could find the Barracuda there. As you can see, that small fish is the Barracuda because it is not glowing white. Yay! 
Yay, we're finally done with Grizzleheim. How are you guys feeling? If anyone has um, got this far into the video, please comment the word caterpillar in the comment section below because I spent like way too much time editing as you probably would know from all the effects and all the visuals. So please comment the word caterpillar. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, train all the spells that you can get from the guy as well as from the other guy opposite him. And let's go back to the comments to talk to Lucky Hookline. Now, before we get started with the Dragon Spiral Fishing Quest, go get yourself the Charm Fish spell in Grizzleheim, like I mentioned like 10 seconds ago, to train all the spells that you can get. To get the spell, you need to be rank 6, so level up quickly in the schoolhouses that you have not fished in. Alright, now we can fish in Dragonspire. Follow your quest arrow to Yuri, and here I am purchasing all the rank 3 fishing spells. But if you don't have enough gold, we don't really need them yet in Dragonspire, but we definitely need them when we get to Avalon. Okay, we are trying to catch the fire school fish, which is obviously fire, and we will use our charm fish spell. Every fish in Dragonspire that we need to get is rank 2, so cast your reveal rank 1 fish and look for the ones that aren't glowing white. Then cast your rank 2 fire lure, which we got from Grizzleheim. And then go return your quest back to Yuri. The first fish we are going to catch is the dragonfly fish that is a rank 2 life fish. So use your winnow life spell, reveal rank 1 fish, charm your lure and then plop out your rank 2 life lure. Now we're going to go to the Plaza of Conquest to catch the Hard Albacore. Basically follow your map and then to your left it will be the Fishing Pond. The Hard Albacore is a death fish, rank 2. Use your Winnow Death Bell, charm your fish, plop out your Reveal 1 rank spell and then use your rank 2 death lure. So this is actually a pretty difficult fishing spot to fish in because the fish keeps going underneath the floor. So as I said in the very beginning of the video, tip two was that you know that you've hooked a fish onto your line when the wording above the fish icon changes from cancel to invoke. Which is why I knew not to retract the lure when it hit the floor because uh, it was actually hooked. Okay, the next fish is in the crucible, so go back to the entrance of Dragonspire, go through the necropolis, then follow your arrow to the crucible. The sweet yellow grunion fish is a myth fish, rank 2. Therefore, you cast your winnow myth spell, reveal rank 1, and then use your rank 2 myth lure. If you get unlucky and there's no fish left in the pond, reset the pond and then redo those steps. Great, now we can return the quest back to Yuri and we are almost done with Dragonspire. The Armored Redguard is an ice sentinel fish and with sentinel fishes they are caught differently. Sentinel fishes have spikes on them so after you cast your winnow ice spell, plop your rank 2 ice lure somewhere near the fish and the fish will automatically want to bite your lure. The second that you hear it bite your lure, press spacebar or click on the fish icon to bring in the lure. Again, with sentinel fishes you have to press immediately when it bites onto your lure. Great, now we can return the quest back to Yuri and we are almost done with Dragonspire. So you probably noticed that fishing in Dragonspire is a huge pain. Therefore, to finish off this quest, we are not fishing in Dragonspire anymore. We need to catch three Ember Parrotfish and to do that, let's go to the Pyramid Horizon House. You can find that in Top Rated, then Top Seasonal. And then the pond will be located when you run down and head to your left. 
cast your reveal rank one fish and for me all the fish were rank two and above so that makes my life easier where you can just charm the fish winnow fire and then hope that it is an ember parrot fish it is extremely common to get it and that is why we are fishing in this house instead of dragon spire all right one fish down two more to go Okay, now we need to catch three trigger fishes. Where we catch them is in the Aero Village house. Basically, go back to the housing tours and then find Aero Village. When you sort the house alphabetically, it should be the very top one. Alright, the pond should be located directly in front of the door and we are only going to fish in this circular pond. The trigger fish is a rank 2 fire fish, so therefore cast your winnow fire spell, then cast your reveal rank 1 fish. As you can see, this fish is not glowing white, therefore this is most likely going to be the trigger fish. Okay, for me, there are no fishes left in the pond, therefore you reset it and redo the entire fishing steps. So that is winnow fire fish, reveal rank 1 fish, and then cast your rank 2 fire lure. Okay, one more fish left to go, and again there are no fish left in the pond, so basically repeat the exact same steps as before. We are finally, finally, finally finished with Dragon Spire. Let's go return the quest back to Yuri, and then we can fish in Avalon. But remember, before we fish in Avalon, get all the rank 3 fishing spells from the guy that you're just talking to right now. Alright, after we get all our rank 3 fishing spells, we can go back to the commons in Wizard City, talk to Lucky Hookline, and then he will give us the Avalon fishing quest. Okay, after we talk to Brook Waterman, go through the teleporter to get to the location where Ren Waterman is. And just follow your quest arrow. Alright, the next fish is a sword tail fish and this is a fire fish rank 1. Please, if you want to make your life so much easier, go to Chrysalis into the bastion and then fish for the sword tail over there because it is so 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 much easier to catch the fish there. Uh, for me, in Avalon, it took like way too many resets. I caught a lot of fish and chips fish because they are also rank 1. So please, if you do have access to Chrysalis, go to the Bastion, which is basically the spawn area. Outside the front door of Chrysalis is the Bastion and then find the fishing pond there. Okay, mark the location here and then we are going to um, go to the high road. The William Wall Eye Fish is a balanced fish, rank 2. And uh, basically just follow your map. You know where the fishing pond is when obviously there's water uh, shown on the map. Okay, let's cast our Winnow Balance spell. Then our reveal rank 1 spell and as you can see on the top right corner um, there's the fish that is not glowing white. And so it's quite far away so I'm just going to charm the lure. I got really lucky that no other fish bit my lure um, and uh, yeah we got the fish. Cool, now go back to the TP marked location that you set and uh, go talk to Ren Waterman. Alright, we can go to the Caliburn, so like go back to the spawn area 
and uh, follow Arrow to talk to Brooke Waterman. Cool, now we need to go to Dundara and you can get there through the teleporter. And just basically follow your map to that little pond. And cast your Winnow Death spell. Then cast a reveal, rank 1 fish. If it says no fish affected, it means that everything is rank 2 and above, which is good for us. And uh, you should be able to catch the Hamlet. So the next fish we have to catch is the King Mackerel. And we are going to catch that fish um, in this same pond. So reset the pond and the King Mackerel is an ice fish rank 3. So uh, finally we get to use the rank 3 lure and uh, cast your reveal rank 1 fish thingy and then uh, pray that it is a king mackerel. Okay, the next fish is the sea fairy fish. This is a life fish rank 3 and it is located in high road. And um... I wish you guys good luck on this fish. You guys will really need it. You're going to spend about 20 to 30 minutes in this pond, in this area, trying to fish for this fish because it is extremely rare. Uh, this is the most difficult fish that you're ever going to catch in this tutorial, in this, in this fishing quest. So basically you need to reset the pond every time it says fish not affected. The only spells you cast is reset, winnow and charm and whatever fish that you get the charm is definitely going to be the sea fairy fish so when you finally find a fish uh cast your rank three life lure and make sure not to mess it up All right, the next fish is the hagfish, and that is in the weird, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you can go to Dondara and then the wired. <laughs> I'm just gonna say the wired. It's and uh, here is where the fishing pond is on the map. So just make your way there to that purple pond. And the hagfish is a death sentinel fish. It's a sentinel fish, it's a sentinel fish. So just winnow, death, and uh, plop your death lure wherever in the pond and immediately press spacebar when it bites your lure. Pat yourself on the back because um, we just finished Avalon. And um, yeah, go return your quest back to Brook Waterman in the Caliburn. Um, and uh, we can start Azteca. Okay, we're going to talk to Lucky Hookline in the commons. So like open your crown shop thingy my bob and then go back to the commons. With Azteca fishing, we only need to catch three fish and then we're finished with the entire fishing quest line. So when I was doing the fishing quest, I forgot to get the remove all fish except rank three. And getting that spell is going to be extremely helpful in Azteca because all the fish that we need to get is rank three. So to get that spell, go to Mushu. Uh, you will just be able to train that spell. You don't really need to collect the quest that he gives. And now we can start with Azteca fishing. So just uh, follow your quest arrow to Alejandro. And um, while we're here, we are going to catch the Chupacarpe fish, which is a life fish, rank 3. So just cast your Winnow life spell, then cast your Winnow rank 3 fishing spells that we got from Mushu. And then if you need to reset the pond, then reset the pond and repeat those steps. But eventually you will catch the Chupacarpe fish. Alright, next fish we're going to catch is the axolotl fish and that is in the Zokalu. Um, so that's like the spawn point of Azteca. The axolotl fish is a balance fish rank 3. So just run down the hill and um, at the edge we can find some fishes. Um, 
I already cast the Wino Balance spell, so I'm just using my rank 3 lure right now, and it is the Axolotl Fish. Okay, we're gonna go to the Mango Marsh, so just open your map, and then the pond is going to be right in front of you. Uh, the Pyraptor is a Death Fish rank 3, so cast your Winnow Death, then Winnow rank 3, and then cast your rank 3 Death Lure. There are actually like three ponds in this area, so like just run through them until you can see um, your fish. Okay, congratulations, we finished everything in the fishing quest and we can return our quest back to Alejandro. I also stream on Twitch and YouTube, so if you need any help with Wizard101, you can comment in the chat whenever I'm live and I will be glad to help you. Again, if you got this far into the video, please comment the word caterpillar and don't forget to wear your crown.